Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I thank you so much for coming back. I wanted to bring you an update on the riverboat brow guys. We did a really good job and we are continuing to build for the people who had issues during the riverboat brawl. Mr. Reggie Ray here. I call him Riverboat Reggie. And he is our hero who taught us that there were more than one thing you can do with a chip. I have to say we came out, guys. I have to say we did. We came out. We came out good on the GoFundMe. I'm, I check it. I've been checking it here and there. And it's been build it up a little more each day for the people who actually are going to need it to represent them um, for what happened that day. But so far, the GoFundMe has done really, really well for the Riverboat crew. The last time that I checked, it was at th over 300,000, guys. Don't that sound wonderful? Now, Mr. Reggie Ray has obtained Lee Merritt for his attorney. And it looks like we probably going to be able to help him to be able to get very good, excellent representation with that GoFundMe, guys. So, you know, don't stop. Keep donating. I've donated twice myself already. Um, because he's going to need it, and everybody who watched that video, who saw what happened, who showed concern, who did videos, who talked about it among their friends, five dollars, ten dollars, as whatever you can donate would be great. If you don't have a lot and you can't donate a lot, but you want to donate something. Five dollars and get your friends and family to donate also as well. We all know what happened on the riverboat, guys. We remember, and Mr. Reggie Ray was actually um, requested to come in and he turned himself in, he did the right thing, and he was charged with disorderly conduct. But we, I don't feel like he should have anything on, on his record. I really don't. I don't feel like he should have anything on his record. Um, he was confronted, and, you know, people were doing things, and he was defending himself. And he was, you know, just doing what he felt like he needed to do to help out the person who needed him, who was in trouble, who had actually been had paws put on him unnecessarily by four people on a pontoon boat that was blocking the interest for the boat that this man uh, co-captain Damian Pickett was bringing in from a two-hour tour and they tried to get in they tried to get the boat to land where the passengers were reserved, their reserved spot where the passengers were to, you know, um, get off of the ship, get off the boat, and the other passengers were supposed to load the boat. And the co captain, Mr. Damien Pickett, here went and tried to, t you know, get the people to move the boat, and he ended up moving it a little bit himself. And he was actually approached by several people and guys these are three of them the three that were arrested for putting paws on Mr. Pickett Alan Todd Richard Roberts and Zachary Shipman they were on the pontoon boat that was blocking the way that created all this commotion and 
they were arrested and charged with third degree assault. Also, there was a young lady involved as well, and these weren't the only people, but this young lady was involved. Her name is Mary Elizabeth Todd, and there were others too, but, I, but so far I haven't seen any charges for anyone other than these four, okay? Now, because they did arrest 13 people, some of them were off of the tour boat that had saw the commotion that had gone on and that had saw Mr. Pickett being accosted by the people from the boat, um, from the pontoon boat, and these people that we just showed. Well, things kind of got out of hand, turned into a brawl, the police were called, and the police rounded up a few that was, you know, things had been going on with them, and they took them down. And they were also, faced, they also faced in charges, so there's a legal fund that has been set up, the GoFundMe that I'm talking about. And I myself did donate twice, and it appears that we are coming out, guys. We are doing our thing on that. And I want to thank everybody. I want to encourage everybody. I want everybody to know that it was a terrible injustice done. And these people came out to just solve the injustice. They were in the defense of a helpless man who was out there just trying to do his job. And... You know, things happen. He was taken down and talked to, uh, no charges that I'm aware of, but other people who were there to defend him are also facing charges, but they are allowed by law legally to defend someone, come to the aid of someone who needed it, and Mr. Pickett needed help at that time. So, guys, they did what they needed to do. They did the right thing. We don't feel like they should have to, you know, have harsh charges or no charges. So, what we need you guys to do is we need you guys to go to that GoFundMe page and make your donation today to help out the brothers who helped out a brother when he was in need. And guys, help out the chairman because he actually did some incredible things with the chair. And you, once he started doing these incredible things with the chair, it's basically what ended the brow. But he and the lady that lost her job, who you know, who needs, who out, got out there and helped as well, and lost her job, they are looking at trying to help them with any thing that they need, any legal fees that they need. They want the best attorneys because this this is kind of you know ridiculous for them to be charged. And he has the chairman Reggie Ray has managed to obtain Lee Merritt, and we want him to have the best representation. So we came out when Mr. Pickett was in need, they came out. Now the people that came out are in need, and the ball is sitting in our courts, guys. So let's see what happens. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel. I am doing a $100 gift card giveaway when I reach 2,500 subscribers, so don't be left out. And again, you all have my heart. Smooches to you now.